In the meantime, the Nigerian Senate has warned of the growing threats posed by the menace of out-of-school children to Nigeria, calling for multi-sectoral interventions to tackle it. The upper chamber said that dangers posed to society by the growing number of out-of-school children were real, citing cases of banditry, kidnapping, armed robbery, murder, and other forms of violent crimes as manifestations. Lawmakers expressed their opinions as they debated a motion on the topic compellingly to tackle the challenge of out-of-school children in Nigeria, sponsored by Senator Adebule Idiat Oluronti from Lagos West. Adebule in her motion said it has become worrisome going by 2022 report of the United Nations Education, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, that about 20 million Nigerian children are out of school, which represents 10% of estimated Nigerian population of 200 million people and also represents the highest number of out of school children from any country globally. Making a contribution, former governor of Edo State, Senator Adams Oshemole, criticized the state governors who claimed they could not afford the 50% counterpart fund, counterpart fund to access the UBE program. That the social impacts of having about 20 million out of school children on the Nigerian state will include impediment to achieving some of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, especially Goal 4, which is to ensure inclusiveness and equitable quality of education and promotion of long life, lifelong learning opportunities for all. Convinced that when all the institutions concerns are committed to their responsibilities, the menace of out-of-school children will be, will be overcome because the situation is, concern, is, is of concern to the federal government of Nigeria. At that same time, I know of states that had as much as 50% out-of-school population. And my argument then, which is the argument I will make now, it cannot be the truth that every governor can afford to buy the same bulletproof car. We can afford the same state-of-the-art government house, but we cannot afford to pay 50% subsidy to ensure that the child or the poor go to school. The bodies of today, we are the beggars of yesterday. Alai Baka Kababu. Ayazu Alayabasu Bakubamu Ba. The states involved in this gross negligence of the children of the poor to be exposed and to be able to offer public, uh, public uh, approval. Other senators contributed to the debate by calling on the government at all levels to urgently arrest the trend. We will know the reasons, part of the reasons for banditry. We'll tell you that they are not educated. They don't have anything to do. Once the accounts are taken away, they now engage in banditry. Uh, they engage in banditry. We may be talking about 30 million out of school. And that is a huge population from amongst the school going age of our population. This is one issue that the states and the federal government of Nigeria would have to sit and deal with it decisively until we are able to have our youth properly educated, prepared for tomorrow, both for leadership and productivity Growth and development may be eluding us. Because when we fail to educate our children to become engineers, doctors, nurses, traders, business people, and what have you, what we are preparing them to do instead is to become bandits, kidnappers, armed robbers, and name them. Name all the vices you can think of, they will find solace there. Therefore, we need to collectively, at the local level, individual level, the local government, the state government, the federal government, high net worth individuals, corporate bodies, all we need to come collectively together to make sure we find lasting solution to this problem. So education is the veritable tonic and panacea that any society can use with a view to not only lifting people out of poverty, but also a veritable tonic 
that a society can use with a view to achieving its developmental objectives. Any society that neglects or relegates education to the background does so at the risk of its own feril. 